no. Oh! Oh, no. to the job, the fire burn trees, last day. Check that out, that's uh, Mount Rainier over there. So I live in a town called Enumclaw, it's kind of right at the base of it, but it's awesome seeing that every morning. We've had some pretty good weather lately. Usually it's rainier than this in January. I drive here every day and every day I look at that mountain and just think, man, that's just incredible. Yeah, <laughs> secret are? secret surprise. I had it rolling two <laughs> seconds earlier. See, am I rolling in my knife? Yeah. <laughs> Psych! I didn't roll. It. I didn't film any of it. <laughs> Fake out. <laughs> <laughs> To do is I like to cut it perfect, <laughs> but if you, but if you look over here, look I'm low and my back cut. See, I'm down here. I should be up here, you know, even a hair higher. So this means I have to wedge a little extra hard. To, it's just gonna be a little harder to lift it over because I'm low. Every once in a while, I like to uh, pretend to make a mistake. So that <laughs> everybody else feels good about themselves. Real know? learning experience for everybody. Can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I, I see it. One more for the for the people at home. Yeah, <laughs> one, one more fake mess up. Yo, dude, look who showed up. Double stack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what they call me. You never get to pick your own nickname. You know? No. I think double stack would be a pretty good one. Though. Double stack's pretty sick. It probably would have gone over by now if I wouldn't have been underneath. I have to lift it all that more. I basically have to pick the tree up more. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Man. It's this low back cut. Look at look at a shot of this. Look at that. Oh, did you hear it crack a little more? Yeah. This is it. This is the hit. I really out of room, almost up against the hinge. I mean, that's really low. That's always weird because we're on a hill, so you make your face cut and then it's kind of at an angle. Yeah. And then you yeah, try yeah. to do a straight back cut. You gotta like walk it seems around to and like work have your better usually if you make your face cut and then the back cut on the same side. But I made the face cut on this side and the back on and this side because it was just awkward standing here. But yeah, every once in a while I like to pretend. Still worked out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Still worked it out. But it just goes to show you how much more you have to lift the tree up when you're low. It's also all that more holding wood, you know? But I nailed it, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Did we <laughs> even have a doubt? <laughs> no. All right, so now we're gonna hook up to the chipper and then move the chipper over here, take care of those trees, because we're, uh, we're done in this area now. All right, Chip City. We're gonna chip up this bundle of brush right here and then We'll get uh, parked for those guys. This is from uh, that half splitting out and hitting this trailer about a week before we got here. Just sideways. It's not long enough to just keep feeding, so it has that that big shoot area to turn. Why can't you just get an 18 inch chipper? There you go. You have a nine. But that I get a 24 inch chipper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so much to ask. Get in there before surgery. <laughs> uh, 
There it is. You got one? That's the one right there. Oh, that, a that's what. Oh, boy, I love reaching my hand in there. It's not scary at all. <laughs> nice. Look at all that pucky. Again. Isn't that something? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we're probably only gonna chip up the big stuff. There's a lot of rocks in this. I just saw my teeth in there. I mean, they're they're pretty sharp from the rocks. There's yeah. some good jow gouges in them. All right, pulling the bucket out. We got the chipper set up here. Now we're gonna try to nose the bucket into this little hole right here. So I can do these trees. We've got three more pines and a locust to take care of. So really hoping we can get in there. We couldn't get that trailer move, so we're trying to squeeze this guy in here. Yeah, a little more. That's good. That'll do. That's as close as we're gonna get. All right. You got the handle warmed up for me? Yeah. <laughs> We've, so we've managed to keep this, this witch's broom for about three days here. Did you? I've kind of fallen out of love with the witch's broom. So you want me to rip it apart with my bare hands and chip it? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it because it's uh... I like it, but I, I actually won't be able to fit that in my Jetta. Like I won't even be able to take that home. Don't say it. The Jetta could... Let's <laughs> <laughs> trap it to the, yeah. strap it to the roof. The roof. There you go. There's always, there's always a will. There's a way. Uh, <laughs> I think it'd be cool I'm to like... the Jedi. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to take it, but then I know that's just a stupid tree guy move because he'll never do anything with it. Like, what, what is our fascination? Every tree guy has like obscure pieces of wood in yeah. the yard that they think they're going to do something with. I'm going to build an ottoman out of it. <laughs> sure you are. Can you, I hate the, can you help me throw this in the back? I'm like, are you kidding me? If you don't come up with something in the next month, I'm going to lose it. Show me a picture. Hey, you're getting close. Yep. Well, we'll, we, uh, we'll get her today. I don't ask for much. Just bring a Ziploc bag full of warm water and drape it over the handle 15 minutes before I start working. It needs to be at 98.6 degrees, yeah. otherwise I don't. Too hot, I won't touch it too cold. I'm not, I'm not asking for much. I should probably warm up the chipper. I haven't even turned it oh, on yeah. this morning. So it doesn't break off. I'm really heavy. 
Let's, let's, do, let's, want, let's do that. If you, you want to run to the pump. road. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. I'm drunk with all the ivy. Oh, you're starving in Africa? You ever tried throwing a rope around ivy? <laughs> For five minutes hard? <laughs> Life changing. You don't know what I go through. Yeah. You don't have the mental capacity to deal with that. <laughs> And you feel like we're pretty far from the wires, right? Yeah, I don't think you're, I mean, I'll give it like, I don't want to pull it like to me because I'm so powerful. I don't want to pull it like, <laughs> so I'll give it, you know, 15%. I don't want you to uproot the tree, Randy. That's, yeah, I mean, sometimes you get a little carried away. <laughs> Just kiss it. I'm pretty sure it's fine. See, I, oh man, that barely worked. Wood was pretty punky. So like I was trying to leave as much wood on this side as possible. So it'd be like a guy wire, you know? So I'm cutting, cutting, and then once it started to go, it did break sideways, but Randy was able to pull it enough to keep it not from going totally sideways and destroying that power box in that shed. Just kept it upright enough. And because the alternative was climbing it, which is dangerous. It did roll into the shed, but it the log doesn't weigh nothing. Look, it exploded into a billion pieces. I think it's fine, honestly. I don't think we damaged anything. How's it looking down there? I mean nothing's it's like you said, just a little kiss. Oh, it's looking great. Yeah, it looks phenomenal to be honest with you. It looks like a Dude, that's like a, that's a close. That was close. Yeah, that was a doesn't get any closer than that.
actually kind of weird. This pine failed right here. This is the one that hit that trailer. And usually they, they split where it's so dominant the union, but this one split right in the middle of this trunk right there. No reason, just weak wood, high wind. Too much weight out here. Usually it's at the union, not this one. Right in the tripper. Yeah. I meant this one is right in the tripper. <laughs> yep. Hey, yep. I'm out. Oh, I gotta get out of the way. In our value. Wow, that brain. Take a top gear direction. Going off like a madman up there. <laughs> Only have one speed, Randy. <laughs> so many words. Super sad man. <laughs> That's your man speed. Uh, I really caught up in there like a bugger. Oh man, this is gonna slap the. Okay, it's gonna be a slash cut. Yes, oh, it's print, uh -huh, okay. That double alley-oop. Okay, so, oh, I could actually just fall these both simultaneously. Let's, let's have them. Feed me the rock. Dude, what if, hear me out, I'm, are you thinking three? A three thing? What if I tied? Because this one leans towards the wires. What if I tied it to these three? Is that just like insane with the wires there? And my middle name is insane. Because this leans towards the wires, so I could slash cut it. That would be another option. I mean, the problem is you go to slash cut if your chain even grabs a little too much, you know, it's like, and then it's, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's kind of a timing feel. Okay, so we've got these three tops right here. They're, these two are pretty straight. They're also entangled with each other, so they gotta go together. This one leans over the power lines, but I think I can use the weight of these two right here to pull this one. So I'm gonna tie this smaller one to this one. Maybe even just tie them all together if I have a long enough sling. And I'm gonna drop them that way. And even though this one leans over the wires, the weight of these two larger ones, in theory, will pull it and they'll all land in a big, Horrible mess for Randy down there. But I think <laughs> there oh, it's just everything you were explaining I was trying to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm looking up, I was like, you tie that, let's tie it. <laughs> Both of them this way. <laughs> my hand signals are good, so tell your editor. Together. Yeah, Tanner, you can talk to Tanner. Thought can he was you like, uh, put an eight pack on me? <laughs> yeah, can you somehow edit? Oh, you can edit, edit a 12 pack on me. Shoot, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Guys and gals fainting everywhere. <laughs> Tanner probably hates you, honestly. <laughs> I was thinking the same every, thing. Every time you're in one of my videos, it's just non-stop talking. He's probably like, this editing sucks. And this Damn guy- it, another Randy video. Yeah. And this guy talks <laughs> like a freaking goon. <laughs> <laughs> they never shut up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a good time. As high as I can because I don't have a 76 foot bucket truck. Gosh, so somebody dang. had to go cheap on the bucket. Yes, <laughs> getting burned left and right today. You gotta really want it with these tiny buckets. Yeah, <laughs> well, a lot of time you gotta get sketchy and hop out a few feet. Yeah, gotta stand on the edge. Yeah, we've Maybe all seen really it. If care you care about my safety, yeah, couldn't get you a 76 foot bucket truck. If you haven't seen someone hop out on a 60 foot bucket, you haven't done tree service long enough. <laughs> <laughs> hop out and get out. What is this guy doing? He's a crazy maniac. Nice. Yeah, it's a good ball. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> stub your stub your finger. Is that bad? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get behind it to be able to reach around. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> Yep, classic reach around. Pretty much probably just being held by that rope right now. The idea is when I cut this one last, it'll rip. Just do about 10%. About there. A little more. That worked perfect. <laughs> that was wow. <laughs> that was gnarly. Well, that felt like everything was going wrong for a second. <laughs> it actually went perfectly fine. So they were all fake. So what happened was because I'm far away from the boom, it's real sensitive. And I actually the bottom of my bucket when I was trying to come here accidentally bumped that one, and that little jolt caused that one to break. Well, it's caused both these to break and to pull on this one and then that broke. So at least I had all the face cuts in. I had two back cuts. This is a real weak wood, so it just ripped it over. So that obviously didn't look very pretty. It did not, I wanted to do the back cut in here and then it just would have went over more smoothly. But actually tying them all together, they, they had to go that way. They just couldn't go towards the wires, but that's pretty wild. I just bumped that thing barely and everything cracked. So, and you can see all three of those tops are right next to each other right where we want him to go so actually it didn't go perfect but it actually worked because the wires are fine the tops are all where we wanted them the face cuts acted as a directional guide for all three tops the only thing is if this would have been alive this might have held this one might have held those two when all the weight was on them but then again if this was alive that wouldn't have broke for me like bumping it just a little bit right there so once again i did perfect yeah that's what i'm trying to say well do you think i should come down and help you or should i start getting what i can get out of this locust i would just annihilate the locust annihilate. I get annihilate. That thing. yeah take it to take it to the house on that one dude these are been sketchy trees yeah all around just all of not... them have been sketchy especially with the wires there so that's something to note there like you saw everything kind of get violent there for a second and everything worked out but often with tree work it's just varying degrees of danger in crappy situations you know so that tree i had three options i had get out of the bucket climb and piece it out small you saw how weak that tree was i mean even that big one with no back cut just crumpled over so that's not a good option the other option is slash cut the top so they just spear straight down but the problem is if like the chain even binds up a little bit or anything goes wrong and you don't sever it quickly enough, then the top can hit the power lines, which is obviously a bad situation. Third situation is exactly what we did. And functionally it all worked out, but just that little bump from the bucket broke it because they're super dead and crusty. So, I mean, that's just the way tree work is sometimes. It's like, what's the least dangerous way of doing this dangerous tree? It's obviously dangerous. These burned three years ago and there are power lines there and all sorts of stuff to hit. I mean, these are dangerous trees. You saw how that one busted off. They're very weak wood. And then this one, I mean, yeah, there's just, you just, you try to be as safe as you can, <laughs> but it's Some a dangerous say, job. It's, it's yeah, just it's a dangerous it's job. A, it's all there is to it. It's a pokey locust. Beware. Beware the pokies. Really not that much of a brush on this locust. I think I'll have enough rope down here to 
give it the touch. You care, you you want me to go get a pour wrap or you care if I natural like burn this around a tree? Yeah, yeah, do that. It, that would be great. Or I can also do a wrap around a nub. Oh, no, I got it. I'll do it. I'll let you be uh, hands free. That's what I'm here for. Not only to pick up the little nummy snacks on the ground that you make, but I can give a hand with the ropes. Nummy <laughs> snacks. <laughs> These Where? yummy snacks give you an eight pack though. <laughs> they do. Those I'm not mad about do it. That. I'll be honest with you, just cause the last like couple months I've been just doing straight bucket work. Like uh, this has been like yesterday morning. I was like, man, I am just sore as crap. Really? Yeah, I was pretty sore. Your, uh, your uh, rope's gonna get pretty charcoaled up. I'm using the burnt tree, I'm that's, sorry. That, that's fine. <laughs> Good notch. This rope's old too. I've gotten my money's worth out of this. This block is years old too. I haven't changed any of my rigging gear in like years. Probably like four years I've been using this block. At really? least. At least. Dude, I used it so much. So much. You ready? You ready to rip and roar? Let's rock it. All right, rip roar in good time. Here we go. The Mandy. <laughs> Eight pack. Eight pack. <laughs> Eight pack, go. Rope can go out. Yeah, go ahead and pull it up. Ow. You all right? Ugh. Did you get a butt? Uh, 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 did you get a locust in you? A locust thorn. You know in what? the rope. Ugh. Poked my hand. But I'm okay. I, I'm not even gonna cry. <laughs> So I was trying to get into the salty spittoon, the bouncer in the front. Says, the salty spittoon, how tough are you? <laughs> Did you want me to pull this rope? Uh, I, I've got it. I just want to double check. I just want to go over here and see just, if you can. Uh, I just rope really some want stuff. to rope it down when I cut my notch. <laughs> You just that. sent it. You ever done? You've done that with a zipline strap. Uh, <laughs> maybe. I've been there too. I have done that. I did that with a top last year. It's like okay, and then I just said hair. I just topped it and it landed right on a fence. Said perfect. That's exactly what I. That's, <laughs> what, that's what you don't do. Always at the end of the day too. It's a tough example to break stuff when you want to show what you don't do. You know, yeah. you're just trying to show, yeah. you know, it's like. <laughs> Homeowners that, never understand. Yeah, they never understand. Like, no, no, this is for a video to show you what not to yeah, do. Yeah, I'm trying to show people what yeah. not to do. Yeah, Sorry showcase. about your fence. Yeah, but, you know, fences can be rebuilt. Are you on? Yep. You're too slow. Here we go. <laughs> Give it one shot with the throw ball because I'm that good with the throw ball, first of all. You really so, think? 
Secondly, I'll just use the throw ball and pull it, and then I'll just untangle okay. it when it gets back. Okay. Make sure my area is clear. Leave my throw line in front. Okay, you got this. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on. Oh, oh. I'm gonna bring it down. It's definitely on it. <laughs> it's definitely not over anything good. But I think I can. Or you can toss it. I can make it good. Oh, okay. yo! Isolation station. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Keep bringing it down. I'll just pull all this down. Yep. You got it. Now I should just thin this one all the way down too, and then it's real nice, like nice and stout. Like I'll just keep doing. You this. want me to? I'll keep doing this. Yeah. You give me this. You got this in the bank now. Nice. Shoot, I could pull it, and you could just do the lower end, you know? Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Actually, you know. <laughs> so like Michael Jackson up here. <laughs> 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 Shimona. Shimona. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like running in this bucket for me. Okay, ready? <laughs> Your Michael Jackson move? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. That's what the heck. You have to replace it with a rope and like actually physically. Yeah, I hear it. I might need actually. Here we go. Yeah. Boom, baby. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh yeah. Nicely done. Barely fit.
done. night saying we were gonna be a good uh good end of the job treat <laughs> there's three in here you know how hard it was me all day not to run in here and eat this the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> it's like i was craving it <laughs> uh do you go to the mall do i have a ball did you go to the mall yeah i went to the mall and got uh i got about 12 this is what i got left from last <laughs> <week>. <laughs> no i got a six got pack six. and i was like holy moly I didn't know if it was going to be, he had to refrigerate, but it says, do not refrigerate. <laughs> it's going to... Uh, you want one? I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah. More for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with extra frosting. Thank you, Cinnabon. You're going to have to... Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to have to really... Uh... You kind of... Uh, I didn't bring forks, so you kind of got to eat like a savage. Just so I got bar wrenches. I mean... I'm just going to dig in with my hands. I've worn... Yeah, Randy by Mandy, sponsored yeah. by Cinnabon. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Cinnabon. Mm. Where are you with that sponsorship? Pull out a Belgian dip. <laughs> <laughs> the no, no better food for tree work. No, the Cinnabon. Like you can bring them in the bucket, bring them up in the tree. I should. <laughs> They're handy. A little energy when you need it. Can I have it all over my face. Uh, it looks good. <laughs> it's becoming on you. It's going to be really good yeah, for your eight just, pack. Uh, are you is that, that how you maintain your eight pack? I was gonna say well, later you're gonna think it's real funny when I bust out my Cinnabons and, <laughs> and I'm gonna call myself eight pack. Six things. pack of Cinnabons, but I got an yeah. eight pack under my shirt. Right. Those do look pretty good. Yeah, have one. Days ago, I went at my my New Year's resolution is to eat less sugar. So I've still got about a week and a half before I fall off the train. <laughs> but if you had asked me a couple days ago, I just would have <laughs> ravaged those. But uh, or a couple weeks from now, I probably. Would have ravished them. <laughs> but I'm trying to eat less sugar, at least for now. I'm doing a good job with my eight pack with this. I got two, two, more, two more to eat after this. I'm going to eat them too. <laughs> In your mustache. <laughs> Is it pretty white? I'm Santa Claus. It looks good. <laughs> I'm totally willing to get a Cinnabon decal on my, on my truck, Cinnabon. Cinnabon, if you're yeah. watching, which I know they are, I'm sure they're watching. Of course. Watching. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> I'm sure Cinnabon's watching. Mm. The Bond family. The Bonds. The Bonds. <laughs> you know, you see Mr. That, Bond. Yeah. You see that guy that loves Cinnabons? You talking about it nonstop? Let's of course I've seen him. Ran, oh, Randy the Man. Yeah. Eight pack. Eight pack. Yeah. Mm, I eat three of these a day. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you get an eight pack, kids. <laughs> you sprinkle, uh, like, creatine on it. <laughs> One more move of the chipper and then we're done. These Bluetooth headsets are so nice for back in the truck. Yeah, they're great for just everything. I love the, I love the ability of these things. Chopping action? Yeah, let's see it. Uh, Hopefully it, it comes at me. <laughs> <laughs> see that? Oh yeah. You're not showing them one of your misses. <laughs> My signature misses. Yeah, no, I mean, those are, yeah. Hey, this isn't how you do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a big piece. Damn. Ooh. You really have to take that to the house. Wow. All right, if I can get this tree down without hitting Randy, you have to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Stay out of the way, Ramsey. <laughs> I'll be right here holding it just like this. <laughs> Remember the deal. <laughs> if I don't hit Randy, you have to subscribe. <laughs> I'm gonna run in front of it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I need the subs. <laughs> I think you're at the end of your. That was it. I think we uh, do we need double stack to make an appearance. <laughs> you wanna? You wanna? We need the double stack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was, I was feeling, I was feeling strong, but you why they call me double. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> First time anyone's ever used two wedges. <laughs> so you put them on top of each other, making a stack. Exactly. Two. <laughs> double. Twice good. Yeah. Twice Thus being good. the name double stack. Yeah, I was the first guy to think of it. <laughs> Jimmy Cricket. I'm gonna hang off the nice. nice. And that's how you double stack. <laughs> Job's done. All the trees are down. It was a good time. Thanks for your help, Randy. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah. Was a good time. That was a good time. And what, we got another month until Florida? Uh, yeah, we got a month. We, I guess. Yeah. Why'd I say three weeks? Yeah, yeah, I guess you got a month to get that eight pack going. And then we're going it's to Florida. The fifth, the fifth, right? Yeah, we fly out the fifth. I, I got to buy the flight still, but I, yeah, it should be about the fifth. We'll get to it. We'll get well, it taken care of. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'll get, I'll, just, you know, I'll get that taken we'll get care job, of. Though. You just you just work on your abs. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get the tickets. I'll be doing crutches every day. Like, I'll do the logistics. 10, 10, you just you just work on that body. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't want anyone looking, the people want looking to see. stupid while I'm dragging brush. And, you know, no, well, that's, I mean, well, they, they want to see eight packs, eight yeah, pack. They want to see the real deal, which I mean, yeah. I kind of am hesitant to show because I don't want that many people fainting that are online and like yeah. you know, passing out. Disclaimer warning. Going Make sure you're sitting before you watch Randy take your shirt off. First time they see Elvis, <laughs> go bonkers. First time they see your mini abs. But anyways, thanks for the help. You can follow Randy on Instagram. Although this is really the only channel you need for great yeah, content. Yeah, you know. No, no other. I'm the only one you've seen on YouTube. Yeah. And you can follow him on Randy's the Mandy on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. You have to subscribe. I didn't I didn't hit Randy. That yeah, was the deal. I'm still alive hitting here. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Subscribe. He's here to tell you. All right. I'll uh, see you guys.